हेलो वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल मैजिक ऑफ मेडिसिन टूडेज टॉपिक इज सैबर शीप ट्रेकिया ऑल्सो नोन एज स्कैबर ट्रेकिया सो हैव यू एवर हर्ड ऑफ सैबर शीप ट्रेकिया टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट दिस एंटिटी विच इज ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज एसोसिएटेड विद सी ओ पी डी एंड वी विल ब्रेक डाउन वॉट सैबर शीप ट्रेकिया इज वाई इट हैपन्स एंड हाउ टू रिकगनाइज इट ऑन इमेजिंग नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू वॉट इज सैबर एंड वॉट इज सैबर शीत सो दिस आई हैव ड्रॉन अ डायग्राम ऑफ सैबर हियर दिस इज अ स्वर्ड लाइक वीपन एंड दिस इज इट्स शीत इन विच द स्वर्ड इज कैप्ट अगेन आई हैव अटैच अ फोटोग्राफ हियर दिस फोटोग्राफ इज ऑफ सैबर शीत ऑल्सो नोन एज स्कैबर्ड दिस इज अ शीत फॉर होल्डिंग अ स्वर्ड और सिमिलर एजेड वीपन now again look carefully this is how the sword or saber looks like look how it is narrowed at its distal end and is of normal diameter in proximal end now coming to the definition so i will give you two definitions of saber sheet trachea one is a subjective definition and other one is an objective definition so first we will read the subjective definition so listen carefully the scabbar trachea is an acquired fixed coronal narrowing and sagittal elongation of intrathoracic portion of trachea means there is decreased coronal diameter and increased sagittal diameter of the intrathoracic trachea remember three keywords in this definition first keyword is this is an acquired condition second there is sagittal elongation and coronal narrowing and third it involves intrathoracic portion of trachea now next i will tell you this objective definition so objectively speaking it is intrathoracic trachea with coronal diameter less than or equal to 2/3 than the sagittal diameter at same level without any mediastinal pathology causing external compression so in this you have to remember less than or equal to टू थर्ड दिस इज द की वर्ड विच यू हैव टू रिमेंबर हियर सो एज फॉर स्कैबर्ड एज फॉर सजाइटल सो इन स्कैबर्ड देर इज इंक्रीज सजाइटल डायमीटर सो नाउ इट इज ईजी फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर इट एज फॉर स्कैबर्ड एंड एज फॉर सजाइटल एंड note that only intrathoracic portion is getting involved the extrathoracic trachea is normal and main bronchi are also normal now however it involves the intrathoracic trachea and spares the extrathoracic trachea the examiner can ask you which part is the favorite part of saber sheath means which part is first to involve so it first of all involves or the earliest part to get involved is thoracic inlet okay so remember this whenever the tracheal shape starts changing first of all the shape begins to start changing at thoracic inlet and later on involves whole of the intrathoracic trachea next important thing is saber sheet trachea is almost always associated with copd now coming to the pathophysiology so there are two um, i mean two causative factors one is chronic coughing and second is increased intrathoracic pressure and we know that in copd both of these are the key factors the copd patients are suffering from chronic cough also and there is increased intrathoracic pressure also so this lead to chronic injury and malacia of tracheal cartilages which leads to saber sheath shape of trachea now coming to the x-ray so frontal x-ray will show side to side narrowing of intrathoracic trachea 
we have read before that what is saber sheath it is coronal narrowing and sagittal elongation so coronal narrowing means side to side narrowing of intrathoracic trachea next another thing which can be seen on frontal x-rays right paratracheal stripe thickening however it is not seen in all cases of saber sheath but yes you should look for it and mention whether right paratracheal stripe is normal or thickened now i will show you this frontal x-ray look here this is saber sheath trachea what are you seeing here see this extra thoracic trachea is normal in diameter and this is thoracic inlet and this is intrathoracic trachea you are easily able to see that intrathoracic trachea is reduced in diameter that is there is side to side narrowing of intrathoracic trachea and this is giving this trachea an hourglass shaped appearance so this hourglass shape appearance is classic of what saber sheath trachea again this is another case again you can see that this is a pa radiograph of chest and is showing narrowing of intrathoracic part of trachea and sparing of extrathoracic trachea then lateral x-ray on lateral x-ray the per se tracheal diameter can be normal or increased however the ratio of tracheal diameter from lateral to the frontal is is calculated and it is 1.5 times more so you have to remember this data also on lateral x-ray remember the tracheal diameter in case of shaber sheath becomes 1.5 times more than that of frontal film look here this is a lateral x-ray of shaber sheath trachea look the tracheal diameter is normal or slightly increased but not less and this leads to a ratio of more than 1.5 with the frontal film diameter of intrathoracic trachea so again remember this also now coming to the ct on ct the axial sections will show intrathoracic trachea to be side to side narrowed and associated cartilage deformity see the normal trachea is oval in shape and sometimes round in shape and saber sheath trachea will become elongated in shape this is cross section of saber sheath trachea which i have drawn and see the sagittal or ap diameter is very more, very increased and the side to side diameter is narrowed so there is coronal narrowing and sagittal elongation of tracheal diameter and which is what exactly is saber sheath trachea's definition now what are you seeing here this shape there is side to side narrowing of trachea and this is what intrathoracic trachea side to side narrowing of intrathoracic trachea and sagittal elongation also note that the adjacent lung parenchyma is so showing emphysematous changes suggestive of copd in the background lung again this is another case these are the axial sections showing intrathoracic trachea to be side to side narrowed and associated with tracheal cartilage deformity also note the emphysitis changes in lung parenchyma suggestive of copd now one objective criteria is also described in ct for saber sheath which is tracheal index tracheal index is a ratio of coronal diameter to the sagittal diameter okay and where it is measured it is measured 1 cm above arch of aorta it is used to describe degree of saber sheath trachea and 0.67 is the ratio suggestive of saber sheath trachea this is coronal ct section look there is side to side narrowing of intrathoracic portion of trachea and what is spared the extra thoracic trachea is spared and the main bronchi are spared 
सो लुक इन कॉर्नल दिस अपियर्स एज अ स्टेबर शीथ ओके सो नाउ दिस इज अ स्पॉट ऑफ फॉर यू गाइज वॉट आर यू सींग हियर सो लुक दीज टू आर पोल्स अपार्ट वॉट आर यू सींग हियर हियर द एक्स्ट्रा थॉरेसिक पार्ट ऑफ ट्रेकिया इज नैरोड वाइल इन अनदर सेकेंड पिक्चर द इंट्रा थॉरेसिक पार्ट इज नैरोड सो वन एंटिटी इज इन्वॉल्विंग एक्स्ट्रा थॉरेसिक ट्रेकिया एंड अनदर एंटिटी इज इन्वॉल्विंग इंट्रा थॉरेसिक ट्रेकिया सो वॉट इज द एंसर दिस इज स्टीपल साइन एक्स्ट्रा थॉरेसिक ट्रेकिया इज नैरोड एंड दिस इज स्केबर्ड साइन और सैबर्शी ट्रेकिया वेर इंट्रा थॉरेसिक ट्रेकिया इज नैरोड so this was all about cyber sheet trick here we know that uh, we have to remember now the sagittal diameter as for scabbard as for sagittal diameter is increased and coronal diameter is decreased second we have to remember the objective criteria which are lateral film will show more than 1.5 times the increased ratio and tracheal index will be less than 0.67 and also saber sheet trachea in summary is a radiological finding seen in copd patients and it is a sign of chronic airway remodeling and should prompt further clinical evaluation for underlying lung diseases If you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and turn on notifications for more radiology and medical education content